typically uh, you guys aren't the fastest starting, but uh, different different here tonight. What was the key to starting starting on time here tonight? Um, you know, there was there's a lot of talk going in this game about um, what it means um, in the standings for playoffs, um, future implications. Um, you know, against one of our biggest rivals. So I think uh, we we're just we we're just really hungry going into this game. Um, we were putting in a lot of work leading up to this game. Uh, we've been on a good run up until this point. So I think we just wanted to um, build some moment momentum going into the playoffs and and just play a full, complete game top to bottom. And, and I think that's what we did. Uh, just talk about the job the defense and goaltender Nick Rose did holding the best team in the league to, to under eight goals. Um, you know, I, th I think that's just that's always a part of the game plan is is to hold the opposing offense to as little as uh, as little amount of goals as, as possible. So, um, you know, obviously Rosie's been a huge part of our back end this whole season. Um, defensively, I think you know everyone was doing their job individually, and when that happens, the unit plays well all together. So. Um, yeah, we, we had a really complete game, I think. I'll just talk about the crowd tonight, 13,000 strong. They were loud, they were on their feet. Is that easy to play in front of when it's loud like that? It's it's fun, it's entertaining, it's motivating, um, and it's it's something that obviously helps with energy at the start of the game, at the end of the game, during the game, all points of the game. I think the, the crowd was into it from start to finish, and I, I think that's a huge part of why we had so much energy here tonight. Um, you know, and if we could get that many fans out every game, um, that would be awesome. I, you know, I think that early in the second half, you, get, you caused that turnover, got that goal, and that just told me that there's there's no way Buffalo, even with their offense, is going to go on a run tonight. It just, you know, it just you guys are just so dialed in tonight. We were we were very um, dialed in on putting pressure on them, breaking out of their end. Um, we've we've had that in our strategy against every team um, and something that we do well and just something that um, we take pride in because we're really athletic on the back end and I think that plays into our strengths and it just shows that um, you know whatever quarter it may be first second third or fourth you know we're going to be all over you when you have the ball so um, it's something that we always look to do and and that's no secret um, we've played the same way I think against most teams, and it's something that we'll definitely continue to do going forward. And it's certainly something that you know you, you can shut them down here. I mean, obviously every game's different, but it's the type of intensity you're going to need if you're going to get back into the playoffs. Year. Absolutely, I think the playoffs are, are going to be a different beast. I think um, it's going to be a little more intense than tonight, as intense as tonight was. I think it's going to be ramped up another notch, and it's going to be taken up a level. So. Um, we'll definitely be ready for the challenge, and we're looking forward to it. Yeah, it it, uh, it relates to you know home floor advantage down the down the stretch and in games that we'll want to play at home. Um, so it's definitely important. Um, you know, with two games left in the regular season, I think we're just going to continue to to try to put our best effort together day in and day out and finish the season on a high note, regardless of who we're playing, um, what their record is, what our, our record is. I think it's just a matter of playing one game at a time and not looking too far ahead.